Sailed through another one. This is at the three and a half marker. I, was, I thought it was going to be a little bit more technical than that. The, the lead almost uh, uh, straight away to get another roundabout. A little bit more of a kink to it. As a nightmare one coming up at three kilometres itself. Uh, the, the way it's described upon the map, this is more significant. And some are moving up uh, and into position. And I think Andrea Vendram yep. is going to be one of those who's going to have to work solo. And they sail oh. around. We've got a crash. Oops. It's opposite. Uh, there are plenty of them being taken out. Can't quite see who it is just yet, but uh, one from Sudar, one from Alpsin on the deck, three kilometres to go. Goodness only knows what might have been on the surface there, but it looks like a front wheel was lost, and if uh, whatever uh, vehicle it was that uh, dumped something there, maybe it's uh, elsewhere on the course as well. Everyone will have heard that noise as they went down. No time to dwell on those, as with 2.8 kilometres to go, still we hit it. This is the big right-hand turn. Now, we do have roundabout still up ahead of us, but they are more benign and there is Menton. Menton it's not going to be him <clears throat> I'm afraid Menton on the deck couldn't see who it was from Alperson but part of the lead out train most definitely but Menton not going to be involved they're jinking and diving around here and uh, Dainese is still where he needs to be at least I think so maybe his teammates and Sean Flynn are going to be the ones that they rely on today a little flick flack through here with 2.3 kilometres to go and now <clears throat> there is an eyeballs out run all the way down to the Flamme Rouge kilometre 1.2 to go, and they are driving into this. A little bit of a reassembly. Dainese, I think, is still there and uh, just looking beyond. Can't see Caden Rose just for the time being, but Dainese is in the house. Here we go, Sean. Yes, Dainese is here. We can see he is a teammate in front of him, and uh, EF Education, you know, doing a good job here, but also Albacin, we can see there, they're just uh, sitting and waiting, and yeah, um, that uh, crash, I think, it just scared a lot of people, but uh, now we have this one point uh, eight kilometres to go and looking like pretty much all the sprinters except the man from the team of Lotto Menten went out there on that uh, roundabout. Here we go, Caden Groves in a fantastic position. He's uh, driving this one in on his wh back wheel. Here is Jeffrey Soup, uh, who will be uh, hoping that he can get something out of the day, maybe be tasty, let's see. Uh, 1,300 metres to go. Now, once we get through the Fram Rouge, Robbie, there's a big right-hander in the drag race to the line here. Yep, sweeping right-hander at 750 metres to go, 90 degrees, but it does really sweep around. But what we mentioned earlier is these roads here in Spain, even when it's dry, can be incredibly slippery. And we saw that in that roundabout with three kilometres to go. Oh, it's going to be fairly gingery coming around this corner. Want to take it in front position, but very wary of what just happened. BH Burgos pushing up. Here comes the team of uh, DSM, of uh, Firmenek coming up, but it's still Alpacin de Koenig in control. Groves in green. They sweep sweep around. Oh, everybody a lot more careful. Oh. A few little slips, pedals, all feet out of the pedals, but they're all oh. still intact. Just about getting through. Uh, David Gonzalez is here from Cairo Rural, just losing a little bit of pace right now. He's got uh, Alouar just trying to make his way up and feed his way through the uh, Venezuelan champion in the bright yellow here. But Caden Groves is the man that draws the eye and everyone wants to be on his back wheel. Pippel Garner's also in the frame here, may well have a, a free run himself, but has he got the pace to pick this one up? Jeffrey Soup just locked in. He uses his head to try and give himself a little bit of leeway here, but this is a straight line all the way, and you can almost draw that line with a compass a ruler, a pen, and that man, but uh, Garner's going to challenge him for it. Garner versus Groves, the line on the throw. Oh, I think Garner might have just nicked it there. I think he might have just stolen it at the very last. Let us wait and see. Oh. Boy, oh boy, that right. was something. Groves doesn't think so. He threw his hands in the air. Oh. That was close on the line. What we hoped from Gunner yesterday, but he worked for the team. He brought it out today, but Groves threw the hands up, and he's on the radio thanking the teammates. He's pretty sure he's got it. Wow, what drama at the line. Groves or Garner, we wait for the photo, but uh, Groves certainly thinks he's got it. Look at that, so do his team, and the hugs have started. It more or less tells its own tale here. Sean, what a drive for the line that was. Well, what a drive for the line, and uh, again, the team of Albus in Deconi doing a great job, and uh, Groves taking it up, you know, at the time that he felt he was in control. As we can see here, you know, the perfect lead out again, but we can see Ghana where he is at the moment. Uh, he has uh, quite a lot of ground to uh, make up here, but that power did come out, and 
Yeah, it will be interesting to see if we can see the overhead shot to see uh, did uh, Groves get it. And the riders, they have a, you know, a, quite a good feeling as we see Gana. He kicks here and at the same time Groves kicks uh, on the uh, right-hand side and Gana coming, coming, but it looks like uh, Groves did get it here from this one. Yes. Oh, half a wheel, maybe a third of a wheel. What a throw that was and what a great finale, Robbie. Well, clearly, from the overhead, once we got to see it from that angle, but Caden Groves, the whole time, he's just sitting there, head on a swivel, just looking at the whereabouts, waiting for the rush to come behind. There's another look over the shoulder, and he's just got them right where he wants them. Another look again. So he is just so supremely confident in himself. He waits for them to come. He opens up on the right-hand side, on the inside, with the wind coming from the left. I mean, Gunner really winding things up, but you know, Groves just holding him on the hip all all the way through to the line but a great ride from Gunner nonetheless but Groves the super favorite he has not let anyone down mostly all himself I think